Good morning, everybody. How is everybody doing? My name is Simon Preston, and welcome to Reggae Boys Commentary. This is the channel where we come together to discuss everything in relation to Jamaican football. This is your hub for everything Jamaican football related. It's Friday, and what does that mean? Well, because it's Friday, it means that it's almost the weekend, and it means that we're closing in on the weekend itself. So let's talk some football. Yeah. <clears throat> let's talk some football. And if you guys haven't already, please go ahead and hit the like button. And also subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary for more content. Alright guys? So. Go right ahead and do that. You know, we look forward to engaging with you in the comments. Alright? So. We look forward to that in particular. So guys, let us know. Well, I'm eager to hear from you guys in terms of the information. How is everybody? What is new? <laughs> is your week going okay? Are you guys doing well? Let me know. Let me know. So, next at ups. Next at ups, who sings the song? We're drinking it by the case now. <laughs> Bobby Reed. Bobby Reed scores screamers for Jamaica. He scored in his debut against Antigua and Barbuda 2019. He scored a screamer against Suriname 2021 at the Gold Cup. And he also scored for Jamaica quite recently, 2023 against Mexico at the Azteca. Bobby Reed, the fifth reggae boy. That's right, the fifth reggae boy to score at the Azteca Stadium. All right, Hector Wright, Devon Jarrett, Walter Boyd, Shamar Boza Nicholson, and Bobby Reed. And his performance over the weekend got him CONCACAF recognition. So what does that mean specifically? Bobby Reed was the only Jamaican. Bobby Reed was the only Jamaican, the only Jamaican that was selected in, that's right, Tajay Scott, yep, give it time, Christopher McKenzie, morning, J. Rome, BFs of Tajay, no. No game has been announced, but what we know for sure is that there's a camp. And to be honest with you, I don't mind a situation where the reggae girls just have a camp because it at least allows time to work on the tactical aspect of the game, so I don't mind that at all. Taron Lambert, hope you're doing well. So Bobby Reed has been selected in the CONCACAF Nations League League A team of the of the window. That's right. Bobby Reed, Tennessee Lewis. Big up yourself. So yes, guys, Bobby Reed has been named in the CONCACAF Nations League League A Team of the Window Award. The only Jamaican named. And he's rubbing alongside Kyle Loring, Pepe, Christian Pulisic. So it's good company that he's in and he's the only Jamaican. So we congratulate him for that. And hopefully these sort of, sort of the performances that will continue moving forward. We know the goal against Mexico, it was his third international goal for Jamaica. His third international goal for Jamaica, right? The Gold Cup is later this year. Those are other opportunities where he can expand his goal scoring portfolio for Jamaica. So we look forward to that immensely. Guys, hit the like button. All right. Please go ahead and hit the like button. Looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say. All right. All right. I hope we can get another two or three to prepare for the Gold Cup. 876, Jerome 876, so it will be tough, I will admit, it will be a very tough situation when you're bearing in mind that there's no window in April, there's no window in May, but what you could have is a camp, and I think that is where our priority has to be, because before the Gold Cup, remember, well, as the Gold Cup starts, we're going to play a game every three days, so as the Gold Cup starts, we won't have the time to train as much as we did before, because it's been a game, travel, rest, prepare. So, for me, I would prefer a two-week camp with one game. That's my preference. That's what I would love to see. Because that's why preseason is so critical in club football. Because you have to cram in all that you can in the two weeks, three, three weeks that you have for preseason. Because when the season starts, you're just playing games twice a week. And you don't get as much time on the training ground. That's, I mean, 
it's not that you don't get time, you know? It's not that you don't get time to train or anything like that. It's just that you get less time when the season starts for things. So just before the Gold Cup, you know, a camp would be tremendously beneficial. And that's what I would love to see personally. A camp would make a massive, massive, massive difference. You see what I'm saying? Nations League first round. I mean Nations League first round. Remember, you know, the Nations League final is June. June 15 to 18. If you're talking about the next edition of the Conquer of Nations League, which serves as a qualifier for the the Copa America, September is when that would one would begin. Alright? So that's something for you to bear in mind. Okay? So yeah. So that works you can do. Morning, morning, morning. Morning, morning. Yes, yes. Morning, morning. So yeah, that's what you need to bear in mind. <clears throat> Alright? So yeah. Morning, morning. Yeah. <clears throat> so for me, a camp and one friendly close to the end of the camp, I would be happy with that. Extremely happy with that. And the Mexico game, in a way, is also preparation and tested where we are. But there is one disappointment. What is the disappointment? Jamaica. Jamaica slipped final round Nations League game that Mexico and US will play. As I said, I said it already, June 15 to 18. <clears throat> June 15 to 18. June 15, the two semi-finals. June 18, the third place playoff and the final. Jamaica has also slipped to 7th in the CONCACAF ranking in the CONCACAF index. Haiti has moved up to 6th, while Jamaica is 7th. So, <clears throat> so results in friendlies do make a difference and do have, do have an impact. So it's for us to gain back our position within the top 6. Extremely critical, extremely important. And that's a priority for us to ensure that we strut our stuff you know so that's what we need to do because haiti is now ahead of us in Concacaf, and that needs to change as soon as possible the good news it's only three or four quality points that haiti has above jamaica so it's not a huge margin but we need to overcome him as soon as possible because as you guys are aware, it will be <coughs> the November edition of the rankings, the FIFA rankings that will make the determination of this. So, yep, stop for us to ponder upon. You know, something to think about. Yeah, it has to be fixed. It has to be fixed. Good morning, Claudette. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Don't forget to hit the like button, guys. So the Gold Cup draw, April 14. We'll provide you guys the latest information where that is concerned. So Gold Cup draw, yeah, April 14. All right, so you can stay tuned for that and look out for it, okay? But you're right, it's something that has to be fixed urgently, extremely. So, but don't worry, guys. One step at a time, one day at a time. Positivity will take us over the line. All right, guys. Jerome 876, a big performance at the Gold Cup is absolutely needed. Yes, my friend. A big performance at the Gold Cup is absolutely needed. It will make the difference that is necessary to ensure that we are on our way. It's critical. Absolutely critical. So, mm -hmm. it's for us to to work on. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yes, guys. Hopefully, you guys were encouraged by this video. That Bobby Reed is doing great things, and so are other national players as they go back to their respective clubs. Darren Moore is literally three wins away from promotion to the championship. 
I spoke about the fantastic job he's doing to go 23 games unbeaten in any division. It's not easy, and that should go as commendation. He's a former reggae boy. He's managing the Premier League in the Championship, and he's about to promote Sheffield Wednesday from League One up to the Championship. Fantastic job. Absolutely fantastic job. You see what I'm saying? So, something to consider. So yeah, that's where we are now. That's the situation that we have. I'm proud of Bobby. He is showing the quality, stepping up to the plate. Absolutely, Bobby is a is a G, and you're gonna see more from him for sure. So stay tuned. All right, guys. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Al J says, Simon, do you think we can win the Gold Cup? I certainly believe that we can challenge for the Gold Cup. Absolutely, 100%. For me, minimum in terms of expectation for Jamaica, semi-finals. Semi-finals is the absolute minimum. Absolute minimum for me. Semi-finals is the absolute minimum. Jamaica, at every Gold Cup, should be, worst case scenario, semi-finals. Worst case scenario, semi-finals. So that's how I feel. I'm interested to the groups two weeks from now. Now, of course, we'll do our pens, papers, calculators, and see what happens if we finish first in a group versus second in a group. Does that mean that we could face the United States again or Mexico again? Or Canada in the quarterfinals? What happens if we top the group? Does that mean that we avoid one of the big boys? Because we're a big boy as well. So, yeah, that's how I feel. But, guys, thank you for tuning in. I'm grateful for your support. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to Reggae Boys right now. Have a fantastic Friday. Be positive and great things will come your way. See you soon. Speak soon.